Boys and girls, welcome back to Crater City. This is Valoran. Oh, oh, cool. Um, we are back. I am back. I was away. You didn't notice because I uploaded something every day. But secrets. None of that was uploaded on the actual day. All of it was uploaded ahead of time. Because you might have seen on my Tweety box that I was in Great Britain. And it was great. I met up with a keeper. I actually, the reason I went to Great Britain is um, I have a friend who has moved there recently. And she is studying at Oxford Brookes University. So, um, I went to visit her, and uh, Akipa just happens to live in Oxford as well, so that turned out really bit well, and him and I, we met up for a day of, we actually did some sightseeing, we um, walked around a lot, <laughs> there's a lot of walking to be done in Oxford. And uh, we then ended up in a, uh, I built a new floor, as you can see. We ended up in a coffee house where we talked and talked about all things Crater City, some things co-star. We were reminiscing about you might have seen the tweet as well. We were reminiscing about the uh, good old times of Coast Quest. I think I want to try something with this window here. Um, and uh, yeah, we were talking about some plans that we were thinking of uh, implementing for the future. So you guys have something to look forward to. Let's see. Um... And that was really cool. And uh, thanks again, Akipa. That was fun meeting you. Again. Of course, we, we both we agreed that uh, we were missing Miguel, who was with us at Minecon. And it would have been great if he had been there, too. If actually everybody from Greater City had been there. But you know how it is. Can't always have all you want. Yep, this is looking better I think not a hundred percent so yeah met up with him and uh, met up with my friend and it was kind of it was kind of weird to me to just up and leave in the morning and then be in England in the evening <laughs> and just I don't know it was it was well, actually, not even in the evening. It didn't take that long. It takes one and a half hours from Switzerland. I flew from Basel Airport. It takes one and a half hours to get to London, Gatwick. And from there, it takes another one and a half hours. It actually takes even a little longer than the actual flight from Basel takes to get to Oxford afterwards with the bus. But, uh, yeah, that was kind of surreal, just, you know, I woke up really early, 3.30 in the morning. I, I can't remember ever having to get up that early, except maybe for when I was in the military. They, they do that to you. <laughs> they are ass wipes, let's call them that. Um... But yeah, so got up 3.30, drove to Basel, dark of night, middle of the night. Surprisingly many people on the roads, though. I was kind of surprised by that. Apparently, the Swiss don't believe in sleeping when they should. Um, drove to Basel with, with my little car and um, parked it, said goodbye to it. Didn't kiss it goodbye. I think it's still angry at me for that. No. I'm not kissing cars goodbye. I just said goodbye to it. <laughs> and uh, 
What else? Yeah, got on the plane. I flew EasyJet. First time I've ever flown EasyJet. And I have to say, good job, EasyJet. Really, good job. Uh, they have managed to be the most friendly flight crew, or to have the most friendly flight crew that I have ever had on a plane. I mean, seriously, that was a bit surprising to me because not all the things you hear about EasyJet are good. So, that looks much better. So, that was kind of surprising to me to find that they were actually really cool. And I was a bit lucky in the first flight. I got to, I got a free upgrade to an exit exit row seat because next to me was a lady with with a baby, and she kind of needed additional space, so they moved me, which I was okay with because obviously, as soon as the plane started landing, I don't know if you guys know that, but. Oh, NVIDIA GeForce Game Ready Driver is ready. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I hope not. Uh, my graphics card just told me that the driver is ready. I don't care. Just keep it like that. I think this looks better. Let me... Let me check. No, nope, not gonna do this. Yeah, I like it better. One two three four five so I got a good seat and the people they were really helpful I mean on, they're always friendly on planes you know how they are they're all smiley and hello and good day sir to you if they're really badly worded <laughs> Englishmen I guess and uh, oh Oh, hey. Apparently, Mexi is angry. I hope she remembers that I told her I was recording. I'm guessing she met a creeper or something. Anyway. Too late now. <laughs> no cutting of swear words. <laughs> All right. Uh, anyway, so they were really friendly. And then I arrived in England. <laughs> oh, Miguel. You too. They are crazy for each other. They kill each other like all the time. I, I can record when Vexy's on. I said before. <laughs> there they go. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'll try to continue my story while you guys can read the hilarious chat as it unfolds. Um, got on the bus met my friend wanted to meet up for dinner with Charlie but he had a bit of trouble uh, getting there so uh, in the end we had to postpone but that's okay I don't blame you Charlie don't worry it's all good and um, Akipa that is for those of you who do not know that Charlie's name uh, Charlie's name Char Akipa's name is Charlie and um, so, in the evening, went, we went to a place called Atomic Burger on Cowley Road in Oxford. If you're ever in Oxford, go buy Atomic Burger because yummy. I can say that much. Um, whoop. Really yummy. And uh, we went to this Atomic Burger place and had some amazing burgers. I had this um, Cajun burger, which I expected to be a little spicy, a little spicy, operative word being a little, <laughs> a 
those two pirates. Pirates only don't wear armor because at the time that you are talking about, armor didn't really make much sense anymore. Chocolate. Just trying to say good things now so we forget the evil things. So yeah, Atomic Burger. Cajun, Cajun Burger is what I had. And that thing was spicy, man. And they had sci-fi fries, which had additional like chili spice on them as well so i was uh cold sweating it a bit oh i like these windows they're gonna stay like that i wasted some glass there but who cares and um so the next day met up with charlie i, I slept in this in this really I've, I've slept there before slept in this guest house Nanford guest house which was pretty cheap so I went back there even though I remembered that the guy at the reception was a bit grumpy and he was grumpy again I mean this guy he just did not did not do small talk he was really grumpy but that's all right. I mean, if he doesn't want to be friendly with his customers, then screw it, right? It says, uh, we are having block lag, by the way. I, I don't know if you noticed, but I am having quite the bit of block lag. What's up with that, Growlithe? Don't answer that, Growlithe. I, I don't really... I'm not really angry or anything about this, so... It just happens. I don't mind. Um, so, plus it, it fits my style of talking at the moment because I keep coming back to the same thing. Atomic Burger! They also had amazing shakes and that's it for Atomic Burger. If they want me to talk them up more, I will need some kind of monetary compensation for services rendered. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so the next day, met up with Charlie after sleeping at getting the Nanford guest house. And we took a bus tour, one of these hop on, hop off tourist buses that every city in the known world seems to have. Every city that is larger than like a little city. I know that doesn't make sense. I, I'm just work with me here. <laughs> um, I, I, I have recorded with Dan just before this, so I might still be a little harebrained again. Three, four, and come on, five. So yeah, we took that hop on, hop off thingy bus and that was quite all right even though the lady there was a life like uh, guide on board usually you only get the um, like the recording but they actually had an elderly lady say interesting things about things <laughs> and uh, I don't think well I don't know how Charlie did on that but I didn't I mean I got some of it but not, but by far not all of it. So maybe we should have uh, not paid that many pounds and just, you know, walked it off for something. Because we were talking, of course. I mean, I haven't, well, Charlie and I talk pretty regularly, but not in person. So that's always different. And uh, we talked. We got out of the bus, got off the bus, we hopped off, um, we had some lunch at a place that where the waitresses, whoa, that, that can't happen in the arcology, I need, I need all the, <laughs> all the closeness I can get, the waitresses, it seemed to me, kind of felt, or thought, their restaurant was much more posh than they than it actually was. 
because it wasn't that posh. But they acted as if it were. <laughs> so that was special. Just go in there. Three, four, five. That's where I need you to be. And uh, then we... We did another bit of walking. I can't remember what we did exactly afterwards. But then we decided to go have a cup of tea, as one should when in England. And uh, we just stayed there, basically, for, I think, about three hours. And we were talking. We are talking about British City, about other plans, and... Oh, come on. About different SP, SMP servers that people are on or have been invited to be on about we've been talking bad about Dan of course no we haven't we like Dan and uh, you know stuff like that that was good fun talked about CoStar as Charlie was wearing his Coast Quest thing I, I don't think Charlie and I have ever, well, it's only twice now, but I don't think Charlie and I have ever met up without actually talking about Coast Quest. You correct me if that's wrong, Charlie, but I think that's true. Um, and uh, yeah, that was about it. There's a big project in the planning now. You guys will like it if it's ever happening. Can you disappear, glass? Thank you. Come on. All right, starting to piss me off. Um, oh, I'm, I'm all, already recording quite a bit, I think. I should probably get things done. Um, or this video done. This room, by the way, is going to be where I separate the mobs into their holding tanks so I can kill them separately. So, yeah, um, did a lot of talking, said goodbye to each other, and I went back to meet up with my friend again, and uh, there was dinner, and then we went to see a play. <laughs> we went to the Oxford Playhouse to see a play, Ghosts, by Henrik Ibsen. Now... The actors, you guys know that I act every now and then. I am in in several groups that do plays. And uh, the actors there, they were doing a really good job. I mean, they were really going at it very nicely. And they were playing their heart out. But I was so exhausted from the day, the day before, and getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning the day before, that I, well, let's say I might have heard the whole play. I definitely didn't see the whole play because my eyes might have been closed every now and then. So that happened. Getting old, falling asleep in public performances of things. It's kind of embarrassing, but it is what it is. Yep, I fell asleep several times, actually. And uh, then the next day, I was invited to a fry-up. Basically, English breakfast. Very well done this time. No beans. I was happy about that. Um, and uh, after that, we just hung out. My friend and I, and I went back on the bus caught the flight home which was delayed and came back home yesterday evening that's about it and I think that's also about it for this episode so I will see you guys next time thanks for watching I I promise that next time we will not be building walls or ladders or uh, stairs I promise I hope I can keep that promise see you then bye bye